Okay, so this is my third and last example dun sa topic nating higher derivatives. At ito rin yung application of higher derivatives dun sa topic nating kinematics sa physics. Okay? So given a position function of a particle s of t equals t cubed minus 5t squared plus 8t minus 1. Now, the unit of the distance traveled of this particle is in meters. So, ibig sabihin, we can determine the distance traveled of this particle kapag given yung time traveled ng itong moving object na to. Okay? Now, the required is A, distance of the particle after 2 seconds, B, velocity after 4 seconds, and C, acceleration of the particle after 5 seconds. So, without calculus, without the topic of derivative, ang hirap makuha ng ating um, uh, velocity and acceleration of this particle at a specific time na nakabanggit dito. But for letter A, madali lang. All we have to do is to substitute 2 to S of T to determine the distance traveled of this particle after 2 seconds. Okay? So, isolve natin yung ating um, letter A. Okay? So, letter A, ito yung solution natin. So, ang kailangan natin, S of 2. No? That is the distance of the particle after 2 seconds. Kano na ba kalayo? Yun na travel niya. All we have to do is to plug in, plug in 2 seconds dun sa ating position function. Kasi ang tinahanap sa atin, distance. Okay? So, we have, tagay lang natin, T will become 2. So, 2 to the third power minus 5 times 2. 2 squared plus 8 times 2 minus 1. Okay? Solve natin. This is 8. 4 times 5 is 20 plus 16 minus 1. So we have ano to? That is this is 24 and negative 21. So 3 meters. So, ibig sabihin, after 2 seconds, ang natakbo na ng moving object na to, ng particle na to, is 3 meters. Okay? Yung sagot natin sa letter A. How about letter B? Sa letter B, tinatanong sa atin is, ano ng velocity niya after 4 seconds? Kung natatanda niyo pa dun sa aking first video about higher derivatives, the first derivative of the position function is equal to the velocity function. So, ang gagawin natin, kundin natin first derivative of the position function. The position function is S of t equal to t cubed minus 5t squared plus 8t minus 1. So, kunin natin si S prime of t, o ito yung ating ds over dt, at dito ay equal sa velocity function. Okay? Ano yung first derivative? 3 times 1 is 1, ah, 3. Then, decrease natin exponent by 1. Minus 2 times 5 is 10t plus 8. Okay? So, ito na yung ating velocity function. Letter B, ang tinatanong, ano ang kanyang bilis? So, unit ng velocity, that will become meter per second na. Okay? So, ito ay... At 4 seconds, ano ang velocity niya? So, isolve natin yan. So, at 4 seconds, we're finding B of 4. Substitute lang natin yung 4 dito sa velocity function kasi yung hinahanap ay velocity. So, 3 times 4 squared minus 10 times 4 plus 8. This is uh, 16 times 3 is 48. Minus 40 plus 8. So that is B of 4. That will be 8, 8, 16. So that is 16 meter per second. So ito na ang kanyang bilis after 4 seconds. Okay? Yung nasagot natin. After 4 seconds, ang speed or velocity ng ating particle is 16 meter per second. And lastly, letter C. Ano yung letter C natin? Acceleration. So, 
Tandaan nyo pa, yung second derivative of the position function is your acceleration function. Okay? So, from this function, which is the velocity function, S prime of t, ito yung V of t. Kukunin natin yung second derivative of the position function or first derivative of the velocity function. 3t squared minus 10t plus 8. Okay? So, ito yung S double prime t or second derivative. O siya yung d squared S over dt squared. At siya rin yung first derivative ng velocity function. Okay, ha? Second derivative ng position function is equal sa first derivative ng velocity function. So, ano yun? So, we have 60 minus 10. At yan yung ating tinatawag na acceleration function. Okay? Ito si acceleration function. A of t. Okay? So, ang tinatanong sa atin, acceleration ng particle after 10 seconds. So, kunin natin yung acceleration after 5 seconds. So, at t equals 5 seconds. Okay? Again, ano nga ba yung ating acceleration function? Acceleration function A of t equal to 60 minus 10. Kailangan natin acceleration after 5 seconds. A of 5. So, 6 times 5 minus 10 equal to 60, oh, sorry, 30 minus 10, that is 20. Ang unit na acceleration, meter per seconds per seconds or meter per second squared. Okay? So, ito na yung sagot natin. So, nakuha natin yung distance of the particle after 2 seconds using the position function which is equal to 3 meters. Nakuha natin yung velocity of uh, the particle after 4 seconds using the first derivative of the position function or the velocity function B of t. And that is equal to 16 meter per second. And let us see, nakuha natin yung acceleration of the particle after 5 seconds using the second derivative of the position function or first derivative of the velocity function. And that is equal to acceleration function, which is A of t. And the resulting acceleration is 20 meter per second squared na ang sagot natin for letter C. Okay, so that is the end of our topic about higher derivatives. Thank you.